We're back with more of The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages, part of Portable Summer of Let's Play Corner. We got to level 4, we started exploring level 4, and now we need to... Alright, so what we need to do here is back... Oh, we do need to do this room for a reason. See that, uh, see that Mordorm over here? We need to throw bombs and hit the Mordorm to destroy it. And now we need to use the Seed Shooter. Not the Seed Satchel. Uh, doesn't matter what she, we'll just use the Sun Seed. Now we need to just pop here and make sure we hit that switch. Might take a little bit of work. There we go. Which is up the chest with the small key. There we are. That's what I needed to do. So now we can continue on. Alright. Back here again. Alright. Here we are. We need to hit that switch to head back through here. We don't need the seed shoot anymore, so let's put on the rocks feather and let's just continue going. Now, as you can see, the puzzles are actually starting to get very much tricky, but with the small key, we can now go to this door. And just easy enough go through this door. And we get our first taste of these traps. Nothing to it, though. Just jump over, wait till they retract. And then kill those. Anything interesting in these pots down here? A rupee. A single rupee. Game! Alright. Now this is going to be a little tricky. Uh, first things first, we need to try to get rid of these uh, keys. Make, uh, make this, at least a few of these keys, to make it a little bit easier. Go on, keys. Get back here, keys. Hearts are always nice. Alright, that's good for good for now. What we need to do is pull this back as much as we can possibly can. Which lowers this lava so we can get through here really quick. See what we need to do is push to block the other direction. Actually, we can't even push the block. What we just do is just rush throughout where the lava is as fast as we possibly can. So we can actually get through here to here. Now we got some new Stalthos up in here that like to jump around and throw bones at you. And take more than one hit. Alright. Well, I'll meet you back at this room, okay? So you don't have to watch me go through all that again. Okay, we're back at this room again, so let's try this again. Because i got to beat these enemies before I can move on anyway, so... Hopefully... I guess let me equip my shield, so I'm a little bit more prepared this time. There we go. And now with that, that door is open and we can get through. And now I'll just jump over the lava here. Be careful of these enemies that like to try to push you off into the lava. And I died again. I'll meet you back at this room. Alright, I made it back to this room, but pretty much I'm probably going to die. Look at my health. There we go. That's all I needed to do, really. So, we need to try to push these back in here, get them away from me so they don't... Okay, there's another one. Alright, so now we can finally move to this next room. We got one of these. Now 
You got again just match up the colors. And easy enough, opens up the door. Hopefully I can find a heart somewhere or else I'm going to die. Easy enough though. Alright, so what I need to do here is to hurry up and get that out of the way. And I think what color you need to do is not that. I think it's red. Alright, it's not red, so what color? Blue? There we go. Blue! But you know, we can go into this minecart and go, wee! Yes, it's a big, huge minecart maze. Gotta love it. Come on, ropes. Give me some hearts, please. Of course, y'all aren't gonna give me no hearts. Let's go this way first. Anything gonna give me a heart? Ah! Oh, of course, there's gonna be a heart, which I can't get to! Okay. Well, now for this, I'm going to need the seed shooter. Let's continue using scent seeds. Alright. This is gonna be a little tricky, but I think I can get this. Alright. Because if I have to hit that switch, which will cause a key. There we go. Whew. Which causes a key to appear. Yeah, that's a little bit of a tricky one. But now with that out of the way, we can see what's up in here. Oh my god, a heart. Okay, that's a little bit better. Still not what I need to be, but... Now with the key, we can unlock that small gate. Now we can go through here. That we originally couldn't go through because... That thing would have been in the way. Now we got all this right, so what we have to do here is just keep going back and forth until we defeat all the stealth folks which will cause that door to open and why is my emulator always fucking lagging so we have to keep going back and forth until we beat the stealth folks We can't really use anything else but the sword, so, I mean, there's nothing else we can really do. And we can't get, uh, we can't go around that minecart, so we have to actually just do this manually. Over and over and over again until we beat all the Stalfos. This might be a little annoying. We can't use any items, so we actually have to defeat the Stalfos legit. Can we get past the minecart? Probably not. I can try to jump over it, see what happens. Nope, you can't jump over it, so we're gonna have to just get lucky with it. So, once we beat it, though, we got doors, those doors will, will open, but there's nothing we can really do about that right now until we defeat this freaking Stealthos. Come on, Stealth. He's always just out of my reach. He's just always out of my reach. 
See, he's just out of my freaking reach. <sighs> Alright, I'll be back when I beat that Stealthos. Alright, we're back. But the Stealthos has been defeated. And now we can move on here. Please, for the love of God, let the fairy... Oh, my freaking jeebies. Thank you. That is incredible. Alright, so now what we have to do here is just time the jumps. Right there, we don't even need to jump. Why did I jump? Just take it. Mm. There we go. Now we gotta just time this one more jump. Oh. Yeah, you can see that the puzzles and jumps and stuff like that are getting quite tricky. There we go. Blue! Alright, let's try this one more time then. There we go. I'm going to save it right here just to be on the save spot. So let's do a quick save. Huh. Oops. Ugh. There we go. Whew. That was annoying, but we got through it. Alright. We got a pea hat here. Alright, so now what we need to do, uh, about this is the right, oh. Which was drop the small key. I, I was like, what, what did I do wrong? I didn't realize that one, I didn't realize that one was yellow instead of, uh, blue instead of, uh, yellow instead of blue. But now with that key we can go through here to take the bottom part of this thing. So now we're on a little bit of a, uh, now we're taking this bottom path. As you can see, we're going to get a very interesting item up in this area. Are we get new enemies here? Gibdos. Which are also a Zelda staple. Anything interesting? Oh. Fairy! Fairy! Get back here, Fairy! Thank you. Let's see, is there anything interesting up here? Just some Stealthos. That will give us automatic harps. Okay. So let's take a look in here. Mini boss time! Alright. My mighty sword and mighty shield shall crush you! So what we have to do is, uh. I think we gotta defeat the sword first? Alright, yeah, we gotta. We have to pick up. The, uh, we have a little bit of a chance to pick up the sword. I think. All right, my guys. Sorry about that. My dog keeps complaining about the door. So what I need to do here is, um, I think I know how to do it now. Uh, it's actually a boss of fault in Zelda Banes before. What you have to do is put yourself between the, you and the warrior. Put yourself between the warrior and the sword and hope that the sword hits the warrior just like that. So you gotta, yeah, this is exactly what you gotta do. So this is, it might be a little tricky. It might take a few shots, but there we go. Another hit. All right, come on. I'm gonna save here just to be on the safe side. All right, so now we need to make. Man, he moved. Come on. And now three hits with that. No! My mighty sword is broken. You'll pay for this. You have to make sure he runs into the wall. And he can go one, two, three, four, five. And that defeats that enemy. And now we finally have a new way to get through. And... Fairy! <laughs> now, remember up here we couldn't get through up here at one now time? Now we can! Oh, gee, I wonder what this... 
There we go. Now what we need to do is turn all the... This might take a few tries. We need to make sure we turn all the... Uh, the... Uh, tiles red. So we have to go boom, 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 boom. And make sure just, just follow my path, then you should be all right. Uh, no, that's not all right. <laughs> you need to make sure we just go boo, 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 boo. Uh, messed up there. So, I right, said so the ultimate goal is to turn all the tiles red, so we have to go wee. Here we are. Now we're on, now we're getting somewhere. There we go. Which will open up that treasure chest for the switch hook. What well, we're going to do here, guys, when we come back, we're going to put that switch hook to use and continue getting through level four. If you have a good day, we'll see you all next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. This is DKS3 at the Crazy Gamer, signing out.